Hi, my name's Sam and welcome to another Megabuy review. Today we're going to be doing an absolutely epic review in something that I'm extremely excited about. This particular product is rare and a limited edition. Only 1,000 of these are being made worldwide and only 15 are going to be available in Australia. We were able to get the third one to enter the country. So without further ado, here's the ASUS Ares 2. Okay, so the first thing that you've probably noticed about this product, and the first thing that I've definitely noticed about this product, is that this is probably the most intense graphics card box that I've ever seen. It weighs a lot, it's enormous, and when I first lifted it just before, it actually felt like I was lifting my gaming tower at home. So we're going to go and explore that in a little bit, but let's have a look at some of the specs and the things that are mentioned on the side of the box. So if we first have a look here, we can see that it's got its comparison charts here against some other graphics cards, like the GTX 690 and the HD 7970. It chats about here the 6 gigabytes of memory, obviously, and that it can take six displays all at once. It also chats a little bit here about the new hybrid air and liquid thermal cooling system. And then if we flip it over, we've got our main specs on this side. So it talks about here that it's got two GPUs, it's PCIe 3, 6 gigabytes of memory once again, and then it's got all its other frequencies and maximum resolutions and other outputs and things like that. Alright, so without further ado, let's open this box and see what's inside. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's in a briefcase that looks like it's bulletproof and something you could kill someone with. Okay, that is a massive graphics card. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go through and we're just going to pull everything out of the box and see everything that comes in the box. So the first thing is obviously the graphics card. So we'll just sit this here. This is the second 120mm uh, fan that goes on the other side of the radiator. These are the screws and whatnot for mounting the fans and the radiator. This will be the ASUS instruction manual pack with the uh, driver installation. It's also got an instruction manual there on how to change the combination lock. Got all our power supply adapter cables there. Obviously got a nice little Republica Gamer sticker that we can stick on the front. We've got an adapter from DVI straight through to HDMI. And we've got our Crossfire adapter there. We've also got our special card that tells us what number and what make this particular card is. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you guys and chat to you a little bit about the cooling system with this particular graphics card. Now, it's something that most people aren't normal to unless you're a water cooling fanatic. Now, the first thing we can see is that this does actually have a liquid cooling system. Now, this is the main cooling system for the dual uh, GPUs on this particular graphics card. This means that all the main heat from the GPUs is actually going to be going to this radiator with two 120mm fans on either side, it means it's going to create a push-pull system, which means maximum airflow through the radiator and keeping your graphics card nice and cool. The second thing is, is that it actually does have a fan mounted on the main PCB of this graphics card with this massive cooling plate that you can see across the top. Now, this cooling plate doesn't actually have these incisions made in it just for the sheer fact of good looks. I mean, while it does look awesome with the, with the incisions made, that's not the only purpose. The actual purpose of these incisions is that it creates maximum airflow through these incisions. So you can see that the way it's made is that air can actually travel through here and actually cool down the entire PCB at an efficient rate, which means you're not going to have crazy hot spots all over your graphics card. 
Now the actual piping to the radiator actually is very, very, um, uh, it's reinforced. So you've got like a rubber over, but on the inside it's actually got another coating. So it's not gonna be easy like if you bend it and stuff like that, it's not gonna break or cause any leaks. It's actually properly sealed and you're not gonna have any problems, of course, unless you get a hacksaw and start cutting away at it. Okay, so I wanna to chat to you a little bit about the Crossfire feature on this particular graphics card. Now, as you know, it does have two GPUs, and each GPU is a three gigabyte GPU, which adds up to the obvious six gigabytes. Now, if you're able to find a second one of these, you can get two of them and crossfire them together, which is gonna give you a 12 gigabyte graphics solution and a quad GPU setup. Now, if you like showing off to all your gaming friends, it would make you look like a complete badass if you had two of these running, if you can find one. Another great feature that comes with this particular card is ASUS GPU tweaking software. Now this means you can adjust your clock or fan speed on the fly without having to reboot your computer. It also comes with a screen recording software, which means you can record those moments in game which no one would normally believe you happened unless you had a screenshot. It also is a two slot graphics card, so it will fit in most cases. So that's the ASUS Ares 2, and keep an eye out for more Megabyte reviews.